grade into math less than 1.5, use place value understanding to round numbers. I can use place value understanding to round whole numbers through 1 million and estimate. Spark your learning. In a class session, Anya says the total area of Alaska is about 700,000 square miles. When rounded to the nearest 100,000, Liam says the total area of Alaska is about 660,000 square miles. When rounded to the nearest 10,000, Mr. DeAndrea says they are both right. What can be the actual total area of Alaska? Okay, so if we kind of draw number lines, and then we have um, 600,000 over here, then we have 700,000 over here. Okay, so basically they both rounded, but did they round to the same place value? No, right? One rounded to the 100,000 and then the other rounded to the 10,000, correct? Okay, so our 100,000 would be over here for Anya, okay? And then about 660,000 would be right here for Liam. Okay, so we have to have um, a number that would be that either one of those could be rounded to, right? Okay, so in order to round up to six, our number would have to be what? Five or higher, right? So we could do 655,000 between, oh, sorry, I needed the word between first. So between 655,000 and 
because that's um, what the lowest end would be. And then our next 10,000 would be 20,000. If I were to put that on a number line, I'd just go a little bit out from the 10,000, right guys? And this would be where my 12,678 would be. So which is it closer to? The 10,000 or the 20,000? The 10,000, right? Okay. Remember what I write, you write, okay? Okay, so let us see between which two 10,000s is the number line of the coins collected for June. So we labeled that, right? It's between 10,000 and 20,000, right? Okay, so how can you see the number line in halfway point tell you which 10,000 the number of coins collected for June is closer to? So here's 10,000 and 15,000. So if I were to go to 11, 12, 13, 14, so here would be our 12,000, right? Okay, and our spot would go about here, right? To be the 12,678, okay? And once again, we know that 10,000 is closer to the 12,678, correct? Yep. Okay. So 12,678 is closer to, what was it, closer to 10,000 or 20,000? The 10,000, okay. And then the 20,000. So 12,678 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 10,000. So the, organi the organization collected about 10,000 coins in June. Step it out, number two. When the coin collection period ends, there are 26,000. How can you round 26,411 to the nearest thousand? Use place value to round 26,411 to the nearest thousand. To round a number to the greatest thousand, find the thousands it is between. Okay, so 26,411 would be between 26,000 and what else? What would be the high side? That's the low side. What would be the high side? 27,000. Look at the digit in the place value position to the right of the, of the rounding place. So circle it. So we're going to rewrite our number, 26,411. And what is in, they tell us to circle the one to the right. I like you to circle the actual place value that we're looking at and possibly changing. So what is in, what number is in the place value we're looking at? The six, right? I'm going to circle the six. It's underlying the four, the four. Okay, the digit in the hundreds place is, what digits in the hundreds place? Four, okay. So, 26,411 is closer to, so 26,411. Would I round it to 26,000 or 27,000? Is the six going to stay the same or go up to a seven? It's going to stay the same because the digit behind it is a four. And anything four or lower stays the same. Anything five or higher goes up one. So it's going to be closer to 26,000 than 27,000. 26,411 rounded to the nearest thousand is, what do we say? 26,000. Check entertaining number one. A restaurant serves 17,236 customers in May. So the nearest thousand, how many customers does the restaurant serve? So we have 17,236 customers. They want us to do it to the nearest thousand. How many customers does the restaurant serve? So over here, I'm going to rewrite 17,236. Okay. They want us to do it to the nearest thousand. So 
what's in your thousand? What number is in the thousand spot? Oh, that's seven, right? When it's circle the seven, underline the two, okay? Um, now, we are getting um, an estimate or rounding. So what word do I have to put out front? Is it an exact number? No. So I have to put about, and then I'm gonna write one. Now, is that seven gonna stay the same or go up one? Stay the same because the two behind it is four or lower, so it stays the same. So about 17,000, because I fill the rest in with zeros, customers. Draw a number line or use the place value to round to the place value of the underlying digit. I think just doing um, the circling and underlining is the best, okay? You want to draw a number line, you're more than welcome to, but I feel like this goes a little quicker for you, okay? So uh, they underline, I like to circle, okay? So let's circle the four and underline the three, which is kind of hard for me because that's small and trying to write is bigger. So you should underline the three, it won't let me do it on mine, okay? Now, is that four going to stay the same or is it going to go up to a five? It's going to stay the same because the number behind it is four or lower. So this is going to be estimated to 400,000 because we write whatever is in front of the circle. And in, case, in this case, you don't have anything in front of the circle. And then so we write four and fill in all our other place values with zero. Okay, next one. I'm going to circle the seven and underline the six. Okay. Now, do I have numbers in front of the seven? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to write that four. Okay. Is that seven going to stay a seven or become an eight? It's going to become an eight because the six behind it is five or higher, which tells us to go up one. So I'm going to put an eight and then I'm going to put zeros to hold the rest of my spots correct. Okay. On your own, number four, geography. The state of New York has a total area of 54,555 square miles. What is the total area of New York rounded to the nearest 10,000 square miles? So what number is in the 10,000 spot? The five, right? So it's the first five. So I'm going to circle the first five, underline the four. Okay. So is that going to stay a five or become a six? It's going to stay a five. So, about, let's see this, since we round it, 50,000. And then our label is square miles. Number five, reason. A growing design company is hoping to make enough money this quarter to buy an office space that costs $735,495. Explain why the financial officer would round the cost of the space to $800,000. Okay, we're just going to talk about this one. Why would they go with that instead of saying $700,000? Because we're dealing with what? money, right? And when you're dealing with money, do you want to be on the low side or do you want to be on the high side? High side. You want to be on the high side because if you're short money, they're not just going to be like, oh, here's your building. Like, we're, you know, it's okay that you couldn't pay for it, right? Okay. So you always want to be on the high side so that it fully covers it. Okay. And therefore also sometimes do more expenses come up. Yes, so if you go on the high side, then you for sure have that money to cover it up. Okay, we're going to do numbers six through nine here together as well. If you are doing the lesson at home and the recording runs out, you will have to do these on your own. Okay, number six, open area. The population of a city is about 600,000 when the actual population is rounded to the nearest 100,000. When the actual population is rounded to the nearest 10,000, the estimated 